White flag is raised, that off. A strong renewal this year of the tote fantasy Bobby Joe Chase, grade three, eight runners, over 18 fences, and it's Kemboy and Glamorgan Duke, followed by Pencil Full of Lead and Now Where and When. Longhouse Poet has lost his rider at the back of the field. On to the second. Leaving behind them their first ditch, matching strides to Morgan Duke and Kemboy. Up okay is JJ Slevin. Now where or when, just noses the third from pencil full of lead. The gray is Vanier, then carefully selected and then Joy Dallin. As Kemboy takes over the lead from Glamorgan Duke. Now where or when on the outside of pencil full of lead and then Vanier, carefully selected with the back marker in Joy Dallin. Away they come from there. That was fence number three, Kemboy. Strides on in front by three to four lengths to Glamorgan Duke. Now where or when has moved away from pencil full of lead. And then Vanier carefully selected and then Joy Dallin. Two more fences to bring them back to the straight the first time. It's Kemboy up and over from Glamorgan Duke. Then now where or when on the outside of pencil full of lead with the final three Vanier carefully selected and enjoy Dallin. Fence on the approach to the straight, Kemboy had to put himself right. Leads on the approach to the straight, Lamorgan Duke now where or when pencil full of lead. Vanier carefully selected and enjoy Dallin. Turning in for the next couple of fences. Leading by four lengths, Kem Boy and Paul Townend from Glamorgan Duke, Jack Gilligan. Now where or when? Darrow O'Keefe as they jump the first fence in the straight and then pencil full of lead and Jordan Gainford. Vanier next, Sean Flanagan and then carefully selected Danny Mullins. Enjoy Dallin in rear under Simon Torrance. Heading on to the fence that'll be the last next time in the tote fantasy Bobby Joe Great Three Chase over the extended three miles and a furlong. Kemboy over the fence in front of the stands leading by four lengths to Glamorgan Duke. Almost joined for second by now where or when. Then pencil full of lead Vanier carefully selected. Now the winner of a thrilling Thiestes is one behind in Joy Dal. Circuit of race. 11 more fences left to jump. The one not with them, Longhouse Poet, who only got as far as the first. So seven set out on their final circuit. Kevin Boy, not so far in front of Glamorgan Duke, who's now within two and a half lengths, the now where or when. Pencil full of lead, Vanier, carefully selected and Joy Dallin. Very few changes at the first of the three, on the uphill run to the top of the track, pencil full of lead. Balloon that and fourth. Kemboy on to the next from Glamorgan Duke. This is their second ditch. The now where or when pencil full of lead. Vanny carefully selected. Stable companion of Kemboy with the back marker in Joy Dallin. On to the last in this line. Kemboy who took it up very early in the race, over another from Glamorgan Duke. Now where or when, and pencil full of lead come next, and then Vanier, carefully selected, and enjoyed that, and has always been last. As they go to the fence at the end of a circuit, eight more left to jump. Kemboy, by a length and a half, to Glamorgan Duke, as the field closes up, then now where or when, Pencil full of lead, Vanier carefully selected in Joy Dallin. A circuit under their belts as they go downhill on the far side with nine furlongs to go. And seven fences left to jump and re-establishing a five-length advantage, Kemboy and Paul Town. And Glamorgan Duke, Jack Gilligan second now, where or when third Darrow. Keith Glamorgan Duke's parted company with Jack Gilligan there. On to the last ditch, Kemboy. Five in front of now where or when. Vanier's moved into third, then carefully selected. Pencil full of lead is now one from last and ridden along at the back of the field. Is enjoy Dallin. 
Seven furlongs to go. Five fences left to jump. Just six left in it now. That same fence claiming two horses on the way round. It is Kemboy, now where or when? Vanier carefully selected, ran down it. Then pencil full of lead and enjoy Dallin. They're both hard at work with less than three quarters of a mile to go and four fences to jump. Kemboy reeled in by now where or when? Then Vanier carefully selected, pencil full of lead and enjoy Dallin. Over this one, taking them to the third last. Kemboy now where or when? Vanier carefully selected. Pencil full of lead and enjoy Dallin. Half a mile to go and three fences left to jump. Kemboy up and over. From now where or when? Vanier the gray in third and then carefully selected. And then pencil full of lead and enjoy Dallin as they run round the home turn. Two fences left to jump and it's Kemboy. Leading in, two lengths now where or when, then Vanier and carefully selected, who are both in with some sort of chances as they come down to the second last. It's Kemboy put down there, backed off two out. Now where or when, Vanier and on towards the near side is carefully selected. One fence left to jump. And the tote fantasy, Bobby Joe, great three chase, and it's Kemboy in the lead, being followed by now where or when, Vanier and carefully selected. And to the 18th and final fence, it's Kem Boy. Game from the front has led throughout over the last from now where or when, then Vanier back in fourth place is carefully selected and on the run in. It is Kem Boy out in front. Vanier is running on on the inside. This is heartening to see as Kem Boy is back to winning ways for the first time in two years. Lands the Bobby Joe from a staying on Vanier, then now where or when. Pencil full of lead, carefully selected, and enjoy Dallin as Kemboy dominates another body, Bobby Joe for Willie Mullins, written by Paul Townend. It's another win in the Bobby Joe chase, the Toe Fantasy Bobby Joe chase for trainer Willie Mullins. Willie, congratulations. Nice to see Kemboy winning again. This race has been really good to you over the years, isn't it? It has. You know, it's, it's a fabulous race to have in the calendar. It's been very lucky for us, but... Um, and we usually run our Grand National horses in this. However, Kemboy is not in the National. Uh, but I just felt maybe a drop back in class for him. And, and it worked, you know, what more can I say? The horse was very careful with Paul, but he put in some fantastic jumps as well, but jumped well when it mattered over the last. And, um, you know, at his age now, probably just not having to take on the real top horses might be a help. So we might try and keep him to this type of grade until punches down. I think there's a race in Cork, if it's, I think it's the Imperial call, and then maybe on to punches down where himself and Ruby had a good day. Yes. And uh, might be his turn then to retire, we'll see. What a career he's had, 10 wins now. I mean, you did mention the Grand National there at the top. Did you ever think that he could be a Grand National horse, or with his jumping technique, was it always unlikely? We were just, myself and Harold were just talking on the way in, like we bought him for very handy money in France, and we never thought more of him than maybe a good hurdle career. We're flabbergasted that he's such a good chase career. He's not a big horse, you know, he's about 16. If he is 16, one even, you know, so you wouldn't look at him and say, oh, he's going to be a fantastic chaser. Uh, look more like a hurdler. So uh, we're delighted um, the way he turned out. You know, it's, you never know. You put your money in, you take your chance. And he's, he's one of those that really, everyone has had great fun that, you know, really gave um, every, everyone connected with him a, Great thrill throughout his career. Very special horse. Carefully selected, showed up well for a long way, Will. He seemed to tire a bit late on. Overall, would you take any positives from that? Well, I think the ground was just too dry. You know, I thought long and hard about running him here today, and we were happy enough after the first few races that the ground was fine for him. He's a big, heavy horse, needs soft conditions like you had in Gorn. But, you know, when you're here and you're second in the betting at his age, you take your chance. And I just said to Danny not to beat him up, take what you can get, um, which he did, but I, I'd say just on that ground, it too, it's too good for him, you know. Are you still thinking entry for him? Yeah, you know, that's, uh, he's every possibility, he jumps well, and um, you know, the trip will suit him, he'll be coming into his own for three miles plus in entry. That was the second winner of the afternoon, Zent uh, made a winning debut for you in the first, but a couple of real sketchy leaps over those last two flights of hurdles, overall 
She won, I suppose, which was yeah. good to see. But what was your feeling about it? I think she's a good mare. Um, she jumped very well earlier on. Missed the last two. Uh, you know, it's not like her at home. She's a very good jumper. She was very good in France when she won. Um, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think she'll probably run the triumph hurdle. Uh, I think she's good. I think she'll come on a lot for that run. She needed it. That's why we ran her. And um, yeah, she got the job done. So she's one to look forward to. And Willie, you've got one to come in the bumper today. Mr. Pink, you've been unveiling a lot of lovely bumper horses the last few weeks. Could this be another one? He's a nice horse. Uh, however, we we're, we're hearing so much about Gordon's horse in the bumper. He seems to be gone by. And yeah, we'll we'll keep we'll keep <laughs> yeah. him honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, this. I love uh, I love this horse's pedigree. You know, I go back to Granville again. Um, Marshall Park is good family, and we've had. Uh, three or four half brothers and sisters win it, winners uh, to him and um, he will like the, the drying ground uh, you know he, he does nice work at home but by all accounts the word on the ground is Gordon has a something special coming out okay we heard it here first look forward to seeing it Rod thanks yeah, I thought it was <laughs> first but anyway <laughs> best of luck watch live racing now on racingtv.com